Right, man, I'm gonna be doing some nighttime vlogging. Let's go check out the tree house on the first night. I was working all day, so. Couldn't be here during the day. There's plenty of videos during the day, so I'm gonna be different. And I'm gonna do the nighttime version of the tree house. And it looks like we're gonna park in the actual $55 zone over here. You know what? I'm just gonna park right here in the end. I'm gonna make it easy. Right here. $55 zone. When you come here at night, free. Alright, let's go check out the buses. We're just letting the the bottom is like strobing out. Ghost town, man. But I bet you inside the theme park is jammed. Right, there goes the 100th anniversary wrap monorail. All right, let's go ahead over to the tree house. Oh, and that $55 zone, it's not free, man. You gotta pay 35 bucks, if you don't have a pass, to get in, but you can park in the $55 zone because it is late, and you just drive up and go ahead and park. All right, let's go scan in. All right, let's just see what's going on on the way over to the treehouse. Some vlogger right here in front of me, just past me. It's probably live streaming. Get right here in the 100th anniversary jacket. Man, this is way different than when I was here on Monday. This is November 10th. There's vloggers all over the place. One to my left. Wearing a cowboy hat. Big old camera with a big microphone hanging off of it. Right, I'm gonna head over towards the castle first and then I'm gonna head over towards the tree house. Right, it's my first time looking at the castle completely done over here. This thing is all decked out. A million people over here too. Probably a side shot versus straight on because there's way too many people over here. Right, let's take a look at the fountain. And a side shot here at the castle gates. Right over here, there's a ton of people. See if I can sneak in here without blocking people's views. Hundred percent complete. Decked out. I should actually uh, go inside the castle. To be honest with you. All right, let's do that before we go to the treehouse. Let's go inside the castle and uh, get a tour of what's inside here. All right, entering fantasy land. Now that's the exit. I believe that's the exit. Sorry, let's go over here. Start off over on this side. Oh, hey, what up? <laughs> All right, my luck, they just closed the door right here. And they just closed the door over there, so we're not going to be able to get in the castle. But hey, look what I bumped into. <laughs> it's Allie. It's me. Allie's in the house. You're going to hang out. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go to the treehouse. <laughs> All right, now we're bailing out. We're going to go over to the treehouse. excited to see it. Oh, yeah. I think it's been closed for over. Two years. Oh, yeah, it's September a of well, two years ago. So over two years ago, it's been closed. All right, we're just testing out this camera. She saw me. I was cruising through Fantasyland, and she's hanging out. So let's uh, go goof off. All right, I've never seen this thing. Lit. You ever seen this thing lit up with the hair going down the pole? I, I have never seen it. Never. Unless it's super late at night. I've never seen it. All right, going through uh, the Zocalos 
So Carlos, whatever it is over here. All right, what kind of popcorn you got? I got the Christmas time popcorn. Christmas time popcorn, what's all in it? We got M&M's, marshmallows, sprinkles. Pretty good. Well, let me try it. There weren't a lot in there. It tastes like normal popcorn. Well, yeah, this, yeah that one bite just tastes like <laughs> salted, <laughs> buttery oven. We're gonna work our way over to the treehouse. As online, man, I saw it. Should be open here at night. Except when the fireworks blow off and it's closed, so I'm in enough time for that. We're at Bob and Weaving. Let's look in front of me. This is uh, getting jam packed over here. I don't know, there's a lot of people, but it's not super noisy over here tonight. Parts of the Caribbean, it's just 30 minutes, that's not too bad. <laughs> Looks like it's open. I mean, I hope it's open. Everybody did the daytime shots, I'm here to do the nighttime shots. It looks good well, there's night. people up there, so. Oh yeah, there's people all over the place. All right, let's go get on this tree house right here. Right, so this came up to the entrance. They tell me there's an issue with the tree. What that means, I don't know. They won't tell me. They said it'll open up later and they can't pinpoint a time. So, now I gotta goof off and come back and check out the tree. Right, I see some actual cast member up there. He's on his knees doing something up there. I'm not sure what's going on. Somebody got hurt up there. Let's zoom in one more time. I don't know what he's doing. He keeps cleaning something up up there. Either somebody yacked or somebody fell. I don't know what's going on. You see the guy right there. Let's zoom in. All right, treehouse is closed and Indiana Jones is closed. It's kind of weird. All right, I was going to be bailing out. She's going to get a drink, some kind of beverage, and she's going to bail out. She's got to get up early. So let's walk her up to the gate, how about that? After she gets a beverage. Right, getting ready to leave at Adventureland and it's all dark right here, but camera makes it look good. Like I said, Allie's gonna be bailing out. She wants to get a beverage. I told her to go to Main Street with her annual pass. You'll get a cheap 20 ounce bottle of whatever she wants to get. Right. Yep. But I gotta goof off now until a uh, possible treehouse opens. I'm not gonna show her annual pass or nothing, but best place to get a soda here in the, in the bottles right here. Like $4.09 with AP. Anywhere else is way more. Right, here's all the stuff I can't eat. Pre diabetic, cannot have any of this. I mean, I could, but doesn't do me very good. Right, like I say, she's gonna bail out. She got her, she got a sprite. Walk her up to the gate, and she can bail out. And back I go. See if I can get on the treehouse. All right, what's your thoughts about the tree? It's really pretty. I love it. I love Christmas time. I was here on Monday and I saw it, but I didn't really actually film it. But yeah, yeah, I think it looks awesome. Oh, guaranteed that's 12 alleys tall. It's probably more than 12 alleys tall. That was going to be bailing out. See you later. All right. Check you later. Bye. Yep. Yeah, I can't go out now because it's too early if I get back in here. They're going to flip out and have to get a manager letting me back in. So let's go back into Disneyland. All right, came back into Fantasyland and they're closing everything down over here. But let's take a look at the back of the castle. Can't go into the castle. Can't get on the treehouse. This is amazing. I'm gonna go goof off somewhere and then come back and see if the treehouse is actually open because that's what I came here for. 
the only thing I came here for, to be honest with you. Right, working my way over to the tree house one more time. See if I can get on it. And it's getting close to where it's going to be closing at 9.15, then it reopens at 10, so I don't think I can get on it. Womp, 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 womp. All right, this thing is not open. And they don't know if it's going to be open. If they do, it'd be after 10 o'clock. It's about 9.10 right now. I actually have to go to work tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to get on this tree house. It's all I pretty much came here for, and I'm not going to be able to get on it. So let me go see if I can get on the monorail, hop off in downtown Disney, and shoot video over there for a little bit, and then bail out. Does look pretty rad. I mean, I'd like to get on here and check this thing out, but waited an hour. Like I said, it's, uh, go see if we can get on the monorail. Now, if that's not up when I go over there, man, this is going to be one big, uh, bummer. <laughs> one big bummer video. Right, there's the monorail up here on the station, so hopefully the monorail's open. Pretty sure all these people were just getting off the monorail, so let's actually get on the monorail. Looks like it's open. And it is. Awesome. Right, this is the monorail I saw when it came in. Check it out, man. I'm the only one up here. Only one up here on the station. All right, if you got this far in the video, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It is totally free. Now I'm just up here waiting for the monorail to hop on so we can go check out some updates over there in downtown Disney because I haven't been there in a while. Oh, wow. There's just one monorail going because there is a 100th anniversary wrapped monorail. Let's check out that new bandstand. I don't remember seeing that, it looks new. Back side of the sign right here. So it's welcome to downtown Disney. All right, did this open today? Anybody know when this thing actually opened over here? The old bandstand's behind, well, it's not actually behind it, they got rid of it. Behind that scrim. Man, this looks awesome. Looks like over by the DVC tower look over there. Check it out, man. So she was up on the stage right now. Look at all those grass area right here. Think, man, you, they go downstairs down there. I think there's a pit where they hang out. All right, let's go check out this guitar pick over here. All these new trash cans over here. Like I said, anybody know when this just, is it just open? It's all news to me. Yeah, I gotta get over here, man, during the day so we can see more. Like behind here, the building that's back behind here. So this guitar pick right here is just a place to chill out at. Din Tai Fung. Behind that scrim right there. Where are they going to put Earl of Sandwiches? I think Earl of Sandwiches is going in where uh, Tortilla Joe's is, my personal opinion. I don't think they're going to put uh, Earl of Sandwiches over here. Look at this big hilly thing right here. This is major. Look at this thing. Climb up the hill. It's all wavy and lumpy bumpy right here. Trip out. It's all soft and squishy. 
I don't know if you can make it out, but it's like a big pit. You go down, come back up. There's, there's a stage. All right, here's the furthest back you can go. I think this is like a gate right here for what they're doing back behind us. But here's a whole new area to chill out at. All right, so the stage is right over here where she's singing. And then you got the uh, retro bricks right over here to the left. Let's go on that side if we can. It looks like there's scrim behind it, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but let's go take a look, because I seriously think there's a pit that these guys go down. This is their last set, so they're done for the night. Uh, but I think there's a pit right there with, uh, where they go hang out after all their sets. See what's on the other side. All right, let's go behind these guys and see what's going on. case for them to go up. So maybe there's not a pit? Right, let's go to the back where they're at and get another view. All right, all right. All right, this is their last set. There's this weird grate going along right down here. I don't know if that's speakers. All right, we got some dancers in the front here. No, speakers are up here. Room? Yeah, where y'all at? I still think there's a way to get down in here. Check out the cactus. Palm Springs vibes over here. Poke around downtown Disney. I gotta make my way over to the buses. But let's take a peek what's going on over here. Like I say, the old bandstand is long gone. It's not even behind there. And what is this going on over here? Is this a food venue? What's going on over here? It's actually behind Scrim, but weird looking building over here. Hmm, let's go take a look. I don't know if you make it out through the Scrim, but it almost looks like a fake trailer with windows yeah you can't make out anything but I think that's like a permanent looking roach coach or something over here almost looks like a trailer from the back of a truck but hmm yeah you can't really see it through the screen but you can with the naked eye a little bit I don't know what it is Right, this is all new to me, Din Tai Fung. Opening in 2024, is what it says over here. And then back behind Din Tai Fung, there's some little building going over there, but I don't get what it is, because there's not a lot of room back there. I mean, guaranteed Earl of Sandwiches, there's no room for it. And I hear Earl of Sandwiches is gonna be a two-story, which early days, they said it was gonna be a three-story, but Earl Sandwiches actually told me it was going to be a two-story. That's why I'm thinking it's going to be uh, Tortilla Joe's. That's the location, I'm guessing. Make it out. I don't know if you could make it out, but there's some Mickeys here. Another Mickey right down over here. Another one right here. Is this going to be the future home of Earl of Sandwiches? Let's see what the future brings. Man, this looks exactly the same as I was here the last time. Except for a little bit. 
except for a little bit up here is uh, different, but not much. I mean, all the metal work going across that top up there. A little bit right over here, but other than that, it's all looking the same over here. Like that's different. Still got the Catal sign up. Right, I'm gonna be bailing out over to the buses, hop on and go home, do a little bit of editing. Then go to sleep, man, because I gotta go to work. Be honest with you, man. This is the, this needs to be the permanent spot for Earl of Sandwiches. Cause you got the Earl of Sandwiches, you got the pizza joint that Earl of Sandwiches pizza is right in there, and then you got the tavern back behind it. You got all this cool seating over here. They're already set up. It's all there. It's ready to go. Get your grub on. Why move again? If, uh, but I did hear they're gonna put a pop up somewhere. I don't know if they did that already or not. I didn't see it. Oh, that's what. Oh, that was probably what was behind that scrim, man. It's gonna be a mini pearl of sandwiches. That's what it is. Over by the old scrimmed off bandstand back there. That's gonna be a pop up pearl of sandwiches. All right, I said it earlier, I'll say it again. If you like that video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. It is totally free. Not gonna go hop on the bus.